LOL doll clothes. I have a previous video where we made these cool, beautiful evening dresses for the LOLs using balloons. And this one is made out of balloon too, but it's a bathing suit. So I'm going to show you how to make that. But first, I'm going to show you how to make these cute little sweater dresses. So perfect for your LOL dolls. And this is no sewing, no glue, nothing complicated. So let's get started. Yay, we love our new dresses. We look like we're part of a rock band. Yes, rocker, we are. <laughs> so let's get started. So what you're going to need is just some gloves. So I have these little baby gloves, or kid gloves, they're not baby gloves. And then I already cut the fingers on some of these to make the dresses. But I'm going to take this glove, and which dress are we going to make first? Let's make this dress first. So this dress is fairly straightforward, this sweater dress, and I'm just going to use any one of these fingers. So let's use the thumb over here, and we're just going to cut it like this short. You can cut it as long as you want that make the dress, so this will be like this short. And then we're just going to take a pencil. So this is just a regular pencil, and we're just going to poke it through. So I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm just going to poke it through. And what we're doing is we're creating a big opening here. So we're going to take this pencil, and we're going to poke it through. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to create a big opening, but, try, but not really ripping the fabric. And I'm just going to pull it all the way down like that. See, now it created a big opening there. And it's okay if some of it is um, sticking out. You can kind of just shove it back in. And now we're going to do, it, do that again, and let's flip it inside out. And then we're going to poke it. So we're going to do that again, and we're going to poke it through. Just take our pencil, and then we're going to go just right next to that hole on the edge. And these are the arm sleeves. So we're just going to take our pencil, and it may be a little tough, but you just kind of wiggle it in and then poke it through. And do the same thing on the other side. So there is one hole here, one hole here, and I'm going to make one more hole. Hand cutie, and she's just wearing a little balloon evening gown that we made. But we are gonna put this cool little sweater dress on her, and you're probably wondering, well, how are we gonna put it on her? We have to actually remove the head. Oh, and she's a she's a spitter, so when you remove a spitter head, you actually have a little pipe there. That's okay. So we're to put the dress on, we're going to just just put that into the hole that we made. her head back in. <laughs> She's a little scary without the head. You just pop her head back in like that. And now we have this cute little sweater dress for her. So that was so easy and simple to make. Look at that. And it's so cute. We're wearing matching sweater dresses. Perfect for the winter. Yeah. Where are my earmuffs? We should wear our earmuffs because it's like winter clothes. Okay. So let's make our next outfit. The next outfit we're going to make are these cute little pants. So these are cute little pants. And then we actually put a little rain balloon rubber band for them. This little gold belt. So the pants are going to be short, and let's use this little pinky one because it's a little on the slimmer side. And we're just going to cut it like that, and that would make you pants. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're, now we're only going to poke two holes. I'm going to turn it inside out first, and then poke the hole. That way all the threads go on the other side. And then now we have our little holes, and now we are going to dress Honey Bun. Actually, we'll dress Mer, Mer Baby here baby who's not wearing any clothes. She's wearing this little, this is from our little, our little princess one. It's Ariel's little dress. And we're going to put these little pants on. So you're going to find the hole that you made. And then we're just going to put her leg in. So we just put her legs in like that. And this is like this cute little shorts over here. And let's make a top for her. So for the top, we are going to use a balloon. So you can make the top multiple ways, but I'm just going to snip the top of this balloon like this. And I'm going to use this as her top. So there is her top. And if we wanted to put a little belt, this is just a little rainbow loom uh, rubber band. So you could just put that as a little belt too. And look at that cute little outfit. Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. So now let's make this bathing suit a little, it could be like a little t-shirt. It's so cute super easy to make and we're going to use a balloon. So first we're going to make, let's make the bathing suit bo at bottom, right? And then we're just going to take this a balloon and snip it like this. And then we're going to take our scissor and then snip it like this. So you're making a rectangle. Simple, easy peasy like that. And now we're just going to fold it in half and we're going to cut out the triangle on each end, but you make sure that you don't cut the center. 
because that's going to be the bathing suit body. So I want to make sure that center is still there. So let me open it up so you can see what it is. So it's going to look like that. And that is going to be our bathing suit bottom. And we're going to dress this honey bun in our cute new bathing suit. This pink totally matches her bottom right now. So we're just going to put it on like this. And you kind of wear it like a diaper, I guess. You're going to raise her hands up and we're going to tie the knots. We're going to tie each side of the bathing suit. It's like tying a little bow. So you tie into that and look at how cute this little bathing suit bottom is. Oh my gosh, it is so adorable. So now let's make a bathing suit top. But this, this outfit, the gold and the pink looks so cute. So I'm going to take rocker and we're going to make this bathing suit top. Um, it's going to look like this top and it could be a t-shirt top or, or whatever you want and it's super cute. It ties in the back like that. So we're going to take our balloon again and we are going to cut just the top of this balloon off. So now we're going to take this balloon again and then we're going to cut a strip like this. And you want to make it like a little like an inch like that. And then we're going to cut this part off. So you have like this long strip like this. And over here, we're just going to cut a little slit so that the head can go through. Just like that. So you can see there. And we're going to take our rocker here. And we're going to punch, put her head right through here. We have to take her head off. And then we're going to put this through. And then we're going to stick her head back on. You can even make the little a little uh, dress like that if you wanted to, but we're making a little t-shirt thing. So we're gonna just fold these back here and we're gonna tie it in the back. Okay, look at how cute this t-shirt is on her. And you can make it shorter if you wanted, or longer if you wanted, just tuck it in if you want it shorter. So there's her little t-shirt. Oh my gosh, and it's so cute. It just ties in the back like that. And it just kind of goes over her shoulders. So cute. And so those are all the dresses we have. This is this is a night dress. I just want to make sure I made all the dresses. And this is the bathing suit. This, this is a bathing suit where I made the top and the bottom. But this one I just showed you how to. I put them on different kids. And then this is a little pants. I also made this one. And I'm not going to do a tutorial on it. Because I think you guys can figure it out. It's basically like a long version of these pants. But I put holes on the top too. So it's like this little turtleneck jumper thingy. And yes, we have two rockers over here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Oh, wait, 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 one more thing. I do want to show you. If you have like a little leftover here, you can snip it. I almost forgot. And this is just like a cool headband that you can make. And you can put it on so she can have like a matching outfit. So I had one on, um, on a super baby. I just forgot to show you. So that was super simple. You just kind of snip it and cut it. And now they got headbands. They're all matching. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And stay tuned for my big giveaway. Thanks for watching and bye now.